Washington, D.C. Um, to visit my sister. She goes to school there. And I'm very excited. So let's go. Baby, you give me ice and fire. You're giving me wind and rain. You're some kind of butterfly. Okay, so I just got to my hostel. Um, it's actually pretty nice. I'll show you a video. But right now I'm just going to get into my pajamas. up pretty well. I mean, I heard a lot of moving, so that kept me up, but other than that, it was pretty good. Uh, I'm about to shower now. I'm the only one in here, so that's nice. I slept till 11 because I set an alarm. I could have slept later, but I wanted to wake up so I wouldn't be jet lagged the whole time. All right, I'm gonna go shower. Bye. Baby, you me Today's plan I'm gonna go to the Library of Congress and like a national cemetery or something with cherry blossoms and then dinner. My Berkey. I found a park. I was trying to go to a bookstore, but it was not the kind of bookstore I wanted to be at, unfortunately. So now I'm just gonna chill here. Well, I don't wanna jinx it, baby. Hey vlog, it's Imani. Got my hair did slip back today. Kitsy Kitsy with guess who in DC. farmer's market thing and then we went to Georgetown for dinner and just shopping. Today I'm meeting her for brunch in like, I have to leave in like 10 minutes but it's fine. And then we might go to a museum and just find a place where she can do some studying and I can read. Here are my impressions of traveling alone so far. It's fun because you can kind of pick your own adventure. Like when my sister has class or 
who is to study or something. I'll just honestly just wander around. I wouldn't say it gets lonely. I think that's because I have my sister here. I know someone here. But it does feel hard to just relax somewhere. I mean, I'm staying in a hostel, so I don't really want to like go back there during the day. The closest I've come to that is just finding a coffee shop buying a coffee and then reading my book but even then I feel weird like sitting there for a long amount of time whereas like when I've traveled with my family we always have like a hotel room or an airbnb or something like that where I feel more comfortable going back to and relaxing I honestly thought I'd have more anxiety traveling alone but it's going so well so far at home I get anxious in the morning and at night usually because that's when I'm thinking about things more. But here it's like in the morning and night, I'm fine. And then in the middle of the day, I'll just get hit with a little bit of anxiety. Um, I don't even know what brings it on, honestly. Usually just realizing like I'm away from home and not in a place I feel comfortable. And I'm also still jet lagged a little bit. I'm very cocky when it comes to jet lag. I think it won't affect me. I have it figured out. And I haven't fallen asleep before one in the past three days. It just doesn't make sense because I'm exhausted during the day. I feel ready to fall over. But then when it actually comes down to it, I can't fall asleep. Which is kind of annoying. But I guess that's how jet lag works. All right, I'm gonna go finish getting ready because I have to leave soon. And I'll show you what I get for brunch.
happened. So I just came to her dorm and she brought me pancakes. So I'm eating those on the sidewalk while I wait for her. Hiya. Nothing to see here. Your baby.